I'm Riley McClure. I'm a bomb tech and canine handler with the Arlington Fire Marshal's Office. Been with Arlington 11 years. Been a handler, been on the bomb squad, a little bit less than that. Uh, I actually spent 20 years as a firefighter in another state uh, before getting to come home to Texas. Bomb Squad got started here in Arlington about 16 years ago. There were only a few techs at the time uh, and there were no dogs at first. And our team has gone from just a handful of techs and canine handlers to we now have 15 canines and eight bomb techs. And we work constantly. Uh, we have Cowboys games, Rangers games, concerts, parades, uh, big events, trade shows. We have three professional sized stadiums here currently and a convention center and we have events at all of them that we have to go to. So there's seven bomb squads in the Metroplex and we cover between the seven quite a large area of North Texas. Not every city in the Metroplex or surrounding the Metroplex has their own bomb squad, so we have to help them out too. And we'll take turns doing that, and sometimes it's based on proximity to our own city, and sometimes it's based on who is available to help out. We're civil service now, so everybody has to start, if they come in, they take a test, they start at the very bottom rung. Uh, but because we're EOD, law enforcement canine, we still do attract uh, military law enforcement from elsewhere, things of that nature. But we are short staffed. We are always short staffed and uh, we, we definitely need more people. Even a normal day, everything can be, it has to be flexible. Because we have duties we have to take care of. We maintain the kennels over here on the bomb squad side. Uh, we have our own canines. If you're a bomb tech, you also have to have a dog. Uh, anybody out there thinking of being a canine handler, it is a huge commitment. Uh, the school we use, it's eight weeks, eight to ten weeks, depending on what's going on for a first-time handler. Uh, the dogs come home with you, they live with you, you're responsible for their care, maintenance, vet visits, training, upkeep, everything you could imagine. Uh, we run the training for the department for the canines and the bomb squad training. Uh, so we try and get all of that into our weeks, plus we run calls. So every day it's, you gotta be a little flexible. Short event might be like a regular Rangers game. I'm working one tonight and that's after my regular shifts and it's only four to six more hours depending on how they play. Uh, we'll work the dogs and then we are on standby in case there's any kind of VOD call. Uh, longer events, big events, parades, concerts, Cowboys games are 12 to 15 hour days. <laughs> they are long days. They're long days for us. They're long days for our dogs too. We're there from the beginning until the end. So a Cowboys game is seven hours before kickoff until sometime after the end of the game. Um, and as far as prepping for that, uh, we stay in that ready mode. We work so many events. So just keeping up with the canine training, keeping up with our bomb training, checking our equipment, keeping everything in tip top shape. And so we're ready to go. If we got called out now for something that, an event that we weren't expecting, we would be able to handle it. Raining, snowing, wind, sunshine, 20 degrees or 108 degrees. I've worked in all of it and we have to be there to do the job until the job's done. At bigger events, we will have the hazmat team from the fire department with us, and several of their guys will have to stay at the truck. Our truck is used as a, a command post, more or less. And in the old truck, it was a fight to have a place to sit. You couldn't move around without bumping into somebody. Uh, you couldn't, you had to get half the people out of the truck if you needed to get equipment from certain compartments. And with the new truck, we have a space for everybody. We're out of the weather at all times if we need to be. There's room to function, there's room to operate, there's room to do more than what we've ever been able to do with a truck before. Our line of work is a little different than uh, a lot of folks are used to. And having the right tool for the job can change everything from the amount of time it takes us to complete a call to how safe that call is. Uh, and being able to have that equipment there with us that's easily accessible can save a lot of time. Training and, and time to get that experience really will help. If you're trained, if you know what to do, if you show up somewhere 
No matter what the scene looks like, complete chaos, something that looks scary or just routine, you're gonna treat it the same. If you've got the training, if you continue to train, if you keep your mind that way, you develop that muscle memory. It really will help you push past confusion and fear. Um, I think that anybody that says they're never scared, they're just pulling your leg. Um, and I, I will, if you'll indulge me, I will talk about something that we don't talk about enough. Be it police, fire, EOD, anybody. Uh, when I started, I've been in this game almost 30 years. You, you just, it didn't matter what you saw, how bad it was, how sad it was, how scary it was, you just, you sucked it up. You went to talk to somebody and they slapped you on the back and they said, hey, you're good, you did your job, now, you know, go get a drink and a cigarette and you're good. Well, we finally realized that that's not how we should be treating things. So there's always anybody who is scared or has a bad call never should feel ashamed to talk to somebody. Almost every department now has peer support groups. There's employee assistance programs and we really need to change that mindset where that's a bad thing or something to be ashamed of if you go talk to somebody. Overall, at fire, rescue, police, there's, a, there's this overarching brotherhood that exists out there and it is, uh, it is definitely good to be a part of that. It's still, with everything we do with the dogs and the bomb squad, uh, there is a lot of routine. The events start to look the same after a while, but yet at the same time, there's still, it changes. There's always something fresh, there's something new, there's something unexpected, and we're still helping the community.